boss of the big boy. That's right, Las Vegas and all my sports betters around the world. The boss of the big board is back. It's the NFL 2021-2022 season. And I'm here with my main man from it. You wager Jordan Reed, sports book consigli air and account manager. Gonna be talking some NFL prop bets with us. Getting back into the NFL. We want you guys to go over to FuboTV.com. Slash JB, I'm giving you 15% off. Got that direct sponsorship with you, Wager, and Fubo TV this year. So without further ado, we're going to be talking about the AFC West prop bets, the cash plays to put money in your pocket. My main man, Jordan Reed, uwager.com. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you back. NFL is here. We're talking about it. The 2021 preseason schedule and dates are out. Going to be doing the Hall of Fame game on August 5th. So let's talk a little bit about some of the Hall of Famers that are going to the Hall of Fame. We got the former Raider, Charles Woodson. This is a big situation for the Raiders organization opening up the stadium and going to be able to put another NFL Hall of Fame trophy in the new Allegiant Stadium, a.k.a. the Death Star. So we've got a very, very class coming in. We also have got the all-time best quarterback, in my opinion, in Colts history. My main man, Peyton Manning, also came back and was able to play in a Super Bowl uh, after that big neck injury. So, Jordan, it's a big year. We've got the NFL coming back on August 5th. Hall of Fame game, the Hall of Fame enshrinement ceremony in Canton. How do you feel about that? You know, we've got a lot of great names, a lot of players who have played in the NFL over the years. Some of them don't make it, but how do you feel about this class? I mean, I'm super excited just to have NFL back uh, with with the uh, Colts announcing that they'll be at full capacity. So we're going to be back to having real home games with real fans and uh, back to normal, right? Finally. Right. Right, back to normal and these games. If you're not ready to get back to normal or you just want to stay in the know, go to FuboTV.com slash JB. I'm giving you 15% off. It's going to put the cash back in your pocket. Cancel that cable bill. No credit check, no deposit. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. So, again, back with my main man, Jordan Reed, from uwager.com. The NFL, I mean, this class you're talking about, so Hall of Famers going into this particular class. you got Charles Woodson. You've got Edger and James coming in, class of 2020. Another great running back coming from the U. Shout out to you, Edger and James, getting that done. He's one of my favorite players in college, and now to see him in Shrine. So you think that going into this year in the AFC West, there are going to be any players who are going to be able to put a stamp on this season, which could be one of those future seasons that are used to determine whether or not they get to Canton. Go ahead. Well, the easiest one would be saying Patrick Mahomes, KC, you know, future Hall of Famer. That, that, one's, that one's too easy, though. Well, the person I really like this year is, is Justin Herbert. I think he made strides last year. He made Miami wish they had gone Herbert instead of Tua for sure. Uh, they're, he's going to be much better this year, much better offensive line. They've picked up some really good pieces. He lost his tight end, but the offensive line's quite a bit bigger, better, and I love him. You were talking about prop bets earlier, plus 16 hundred to win the MVP. There's a lot more value there than, than the Mahomes at plus 400. I really like it. Yes, let's talk about it. A little bit on the Tampa Bay Bucks. Can Tom Brady survive season number 21? Last year, we found out this year he was playing on one leg, still somehow was able to win the Super Bowl in Tampa. I told everybody to bet that money line. No way they were letting him lose at home. Do you think when loss total for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Is this a regression year? Do they maintain? Do I think they can repeat as Super Bowl champions? No, I'm telling you right now, I do not think that. However, do you think they can still compete just overall, even though it's not uh, in the AFC anymore? Do you think Tom Brady can keep them competitive? Or is this going to be a situation where they may end up having to go to a backup of which we don't know yet? Go ahead. 
Well, the thing is, Tom Brady's going to play until he has a major injury, right? And apparently, he had one last year, but it didn't keep him off the field. We didn't even hear about it till after the Super Bowl. So, really, how major was it? Saints are getting much worse. We know that. Drew Brees is out. And Tampa Bay really hit its stride last year after their bye week. You give them a full training camp this year, uh, more time to gel as a team, run more of that Tom Brady instead of that Arians offense. They brought everybody back. I like them to compete. It's hard to repeat at Super Bowl, but uh, that over and under at uh, 11 and a half regular season win, I'll take the over there. I like it. This football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over 100 live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Maybe a wild card team to get you there, but putting money on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to go back to the Super Bowl, and I'm looking at Tampa Bay right now. Coming in at plus 625 could be valuable, but nevertheless, it's time to get into it. The AFC West being brought to you by Fubo TV. Again, don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV. Go to FuboTV.com slash JB. I'm giving you 15% off and an extra week on your free service. So you don't got to get cable and go to credit checks and get boxes mailed to your house and miss all the games. You can just download the app and get it going. In the AFC West, we were talking about it in the pre-show before we got in today. Kansas City Chiefs, 14-2 and last year. Ended up getting mollywopped in the Super Bowl. Couldn't put any cash in your pocket. Drake even said it. Pat Mahomes about to come up short a couple of hundred. Again, shout out to Drake. That lemon pepper freestyle had me going early in the summer. Do you think Kansas City, their win total, plus 12 and a half? You had Le'Veon Bell saying that he would never play for Andy Reid again. What's going on up in KC? Do you think it's a possibility? Go ahead. I do. I actually think that that they got much better this year. I don't think the Le'Veon Bell thing is going to be huge. Uh, they're not going to miss him too much. Clyde edwards Slayer is going to have a better year. They actually improved that offensive line after giving up two oft-injured all-worldly tackles, and uh, they replaced them quite nicely. Love the center they drafted. I think they're going to be better on the offensive line. There were reports coming out today that Kansas City's trying to trade for Devontae Adams, which would be a game-changer. Who knows if that's actually going to happen or not. Um, but even if not, they lost Sam- Sammy Watkins. You plug in McCole Harmon there. Love him. If you play fantasy, draft him. He's going to have a great year. And uh, I like Kansas City to go over 12 and a half. I like him to be better than last year. They can stay healthy. And staying here in the AFC West, going over to the hometown, Las Vegas Raiders. Last year, only 8-8. Eight and eight. John Gruden couldn't find the deep ball enough for Henry Ruggs questionable draft choice this year taking a projected third fourth round pick in the first round with Alex Leatherwood who was a line project out of Alabama eight and eight win total for the Raiders nine nine and a half I've seen it on different boards do you think that the Raiders can pull it off this year because over the last few seasons when they've come to Las Vegas they've had a lot of questionable moves in the offseason you trade Khalil Mack who is now the anchor of that Chicago Bears defense You pay all this money to Carr, your quarterback. You go get him Henry Ruggs, decent offensive line, decent defense, decent running back, 8-8 and team. Do you think it's coaching, or do you think it's just the players couldn't gel due to the fact that it was COVID last year? However, 9.5, we're talking about sports betting. Can the Raiders get there? Is this the year they get over the hump, a regression year? Do we see Gruden finally get back to that Super Bowl glory? Or is this just going to be another sad year in Vegas? Go ahead. No, I don't like them to get to nine. I don't even like them to get to seven. I mean, all your local people are going to hate me, but it was a questionable draft. It was a questionable draft on the heels of a questionable free agency. Their one bright spot last year was their offensive line, which they kind of dismantled a little bit. Uh, I'm not so sure about the Kenyon Drake signing. He's a fine enough player, but I think you're going to miss your center. And, um, yeah, I, I think they I think they have difficulties. Always head scratchers with their draft, too. I don't know why. Always head scratchers. Picked up Alex Leatherwood. Alex, don't get mad at me. You got to holla at me. JB the Ticket on Instagram at JB the Ticket on Twitter at We Beat the Line. Rounding out your team. You were talking about them. The L.A. Chargers last year, 79, missed the playoffs. However, rookie of the year. I told everybody it was going to be Justin Herbert. And he put that cash in your pocket. 79. 
Win total, eight and a half. Do you think that this is the year that the L.A. Chargers can put themselves in a better position to be a quality team in the AFC West? Seven in line last year with the rookie quarterback. Very, very respectable. Can they get the extra two wins to put the cash in your pocket? Go ahead. Uh, yes. Easily. This is one of my favorite bets of the year. L.A. Chargers over. I love Herbert. I like the development. I think he does better this year than last year. Uh, He's not the type of quarterback that uh, other offenses are going to just start figuring out. He's got a big arm. Uh, He's mobile. There's a lot of weapons there. I love what they did in the offensive line. Very strong draft. Rashad Slater. They fixed the secondary, hopefully, with Asante Samuel Jr., and um, should be much better than last year. We like that over as well. We think that can get you paid. Take the L.A. Chargers over eight and a half, nine if you can get it. Again, go over to VegasScoreBoardExpress.com. You wager LV. Offer code VSX, giving you 80% bonus on that initial cash. Give us a call up. Now rounding out the bottom of the AFC West, the lowly Denver Broncos, 5-11 and 11 last year. Couldn't get it done. I told my guys over at Denver Sports Betting that I was sleeping on Drew Locke like a Sealy. I didn't need to wake up. 5-11. and 11. They've got quarterback issues. They're bringing in Teddy Bridgewater to try to save him. Where is this team going? Win total 7.5. Can Denver get to 7 wins this year? That's about right. Is seven and a half, I think, right now. Let's see. Uh, reports coming out that uh, Houston willing to trade Deshaun Watson. I think he plays this year. I think Broncos are a great candidate. They're really one quarterback away from being a, a great team. Vaughn Miller hopefully is healthy this year. That makes that defense so much better. They'll get Cortland Sutton back. I'm not betting them to win the division at plus 550. I like the LA Chargers at plus 525 way better. There's so much more value there. Uh, but uh, I'm waiting to see what kind of moves they make during the offseason because they just might. Uh, but really, um, as long as Drew Locke is your quarterback, brought in Bridgewater, I don't see him helping too much. I mean, maybe you'll push him a little bit. Competition's always good like that. But uh, I, don't, I don't like them to compete for the division. Keep in mind also, with no fans in the stands, Denver really had the best home field advantage last season. With the the altitude was it. Denver and Miami had the home field advantages throughout the season, and they only won five games. I can see them trying to make it, make some moves other than Bridgewater at quarterback because he's not the answer. And other than that, I'm just fading. I'm fading the win total on him. It's a ticket you could wipe your butt with, put it in the toilet, and see which one goes down first. JB the ticket, my main man Jordan Reed. Over at uwager.lv. Any other prop bets you want to throw out there for the betters? And again, you can go to VegasScoreBoardExpress.com. Click that live uwager link. Use offer code VSX. I'm giving you an 80% bonus on that initial deposit. And they also take crypto. Any extra props? Go ahead. Yeah, come on, come over and check out You Wager. We're running Christmas in July right now. It's our biggest promotion of the year. We try to get people in early for football season. Uh, preseason is a great time to make money. I think I've told you about my preseason betting strategies before. And it's a good time to come in and take the best bonus of the year and stack your balance before the football season. You can get up to 60% free play with just a three-time rollover, no hold. It is one of the best bonuses you'll ever see. That's so what I'm check talking it out. about. My main man, Jordan Reed over at uwager.com. JP the Ticket. Follow me on Instagram at JP the Ticket. Follow the show on Twitter at We Beat the Line. Also got a brand new brand, percentagebets.com. Going to be giving you the top underdog bets this year. Absolutely free. Also, we got some paid professional handicappers that are going to be coming on, offering their selections for you as well. It's going to be a big year in the NFL. You hang on and come back to Vegas Scoreboard Express. It's the VSX NFL Preview Shows. First show, AFC West. My main man, Jordan Reed, might be coming back with us to talk a little bit more NFL, but we're going to be bringing you every division, both conferences. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Who's the best dog in each division? It's going to be a steal of a year. We want to thank everybody who has been rocking with Vegas Scoreboard Express the last couple of years. Thank you so much for helping us grow. And because of that, I'm doing what I love. So again, you already know what time it is. It's time to grab your bankroll. Hit the window. Start looking at those prop bets. Go over to VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Get your Fubo TV. Get your U-Wager. And get your money.